Lawrence to my right, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 240 pounds, Tom Zink. Zink. As the opponent introducing in the corner to my left, he's the AWA light heavyweight champion of the world, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, weighing 260 pounds, Mr. Electricity, Steve Regal. All right, Mr. Holliday, thank you much. We're all set to go again as Steve Regal gets rid of his uh, jacket and the light heavyweight championship belt. We are going to ring the bell, and uh, Joe Fiorino, the referee, gave the order. Tom Zink, he was uh, Mr. Minnesota. And of course, uh, the sister city of Winnipeg, St. Paul, uh, right next to Minneapolis. Tom Zink, uh, of course, very handsome young man, well put together, and uh, a most popular guy for his early start in professional wrestling. A uh, throw off by Steve Regal. Regal just caught a full shoulder block. Another one, you can hear the smack. Commentators call that a backslide. I call it a forward slide down the back, right? Okay, side headlock. Regal in command. Mr. Electricity. He shocked a lot of opponents, and maybe that's where he claims uh, the, that title. Hanging on to that side headlock. Oh, uh, now, there's the wise thing to do. Uh, get your feet under you, get your pins, but you'll notice Steve Regal's the first man up. He is the shorter of the two men, and he's trying to maintain his advantage, his leverage advantage, over Tom Zink right now. And, if, and Zink, you can see, is doing a very excellent job of getting out of it. I'm assuming, yeah, well, he did. The arm bar. That's a hard thing to do when you're getting your body uh, wrecked at that at that particular moment with a with a body slam. And it's a dangerous thing to do to hang on to a hold like that. The best thing to do is uh, you know get out of dodge, bail out, man, get out of the town, let loose everything you got going, and protect your body at the time. Uh, because you can break into your own arm at the same time. Hey, an Irish whip! Flying there! Tried to cradle him with, for the for the pen. Side headlock, hip lock, takedown, and a tremendous uh, arc on that one. One, two, uh, you see, Steve Regal. Now Regal's on the receiving end of this hold. Yet he was able to turn it into his own advantage by rolling Zink over and had hoped to get a pin. You got to count of two. You only need one more. Count of three. Professional wrestling. Hold your opponent down and show your opponent's shoulders down to the mat for the count of three. Get him to submit. And you win. Or get him to submit. Shoulder block again. Zink's been effective with that from the opening of this match. He didn't roll that shoulder off. He thrust it in the air. Regal trying for the advantage again. More people are watching professional wrestling now than ever before. I in. Uh, in the history of wrestling, if they had television in the, the Roman times, I don't think as many people would have watched. Well, they didn't have the population then. At two, Brute. Side headlock, Zink. Up in the air, look out. Hang on, man. That 
was instigated by Steve Regal. He took a chance and he got his own bell rung a bit, but he hurt Zink more than he was hurt. And a cover, one, two. And he got him under the heart. There's a tremendous heart punch. Oh, there's another one in the gut. They're right in the solar plexus. You better have a set of stomach muscles to stop that that uh, blow that's coming your way. And if you have a set of stomach muscles and don't use them, you're in for trouble. Going on the rope to an Irish whip, far to the other side. Oh, and he got Zink with an elbow, smacked him right around the temporal area. One, two. Well, I'll be doggone that Tom Zink was able to get enough together to get out of it. To stop that, I uh, escaped the third count at least. Boy, did Regal nail him. Goes for another cover. I'm trying to see what. Uh, Regal is in command, but I'm trying to see what, what uh, Zink is going to try to pull. He may be able to lift him or uh, duck walk uh, Regal back to the corner. Uh, there's the answer in a shoulder block. You don't dare back out of that corner unless you're ready to run out to the center of the ring. And Irish Swift into the turnbuckle. Oh, and Regal spun out of the way in time. The arena of the referee was cautioning Regal to use the sole of the boot, not the toe. The toe is their boatin. In the turnbuckle. I hope one day to be able to, to take the padding off a turnbuckle and show you how much little padding, uh, little effect the padding has. Because it's solid cast iron underneath. there for quite a while and uh, oh here comes an elbow smash he scissor like on that one went two oh by george i'll tell you i thought he had him zank is taking a pretty heavy pounding he's going to look like a sack full of doorknobs pretty soon oh there's a reversal a suplex high in the air took him all the way back Zink took Regal down, and Steve really had his bell rung on that one. Irish whip, a blind drop kick, and he about took his head right off. Caught him in the chin with the heel of his boot. One, two, and look at Regal rebound. for a minute about the the energy expended by these fellows they've been going for seven minutes and 55 seconds uh since the bell sounded and i'll tell you they have not stopped one bit not one second they have been working really hard one minute left there's one minute left The officials up high on the air and atomic drop bombs away an elbow smash by steve regal ah hey and a flying drop kick regal just about beheaded him again go for a cover too ah and up comes zinc we're coming up on 30 seconds 30 seconds. All right. Steve Regal looks a pretty groggy at this moment. Oh, the back body dropped by Zink. Zink may have him. Goes in, tries for a pin. One, two. Ooh, and Regal almost got caught.
Tom Zink on a disqualification because time is over. And it's a draw. Ted Fiorino declared for the draw between Tom Zink on your left, Steve Regal on your right, right here on AWA All-Star Wrestling. And here are the closing moments when time ran out. These fellows gave it everything for the time that they were in there. The referee, Ted Fiorino.